Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Monday, June 17th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast, and I hope all the dads had a great Father's Day yesterday. Now, I must begin today with an item in TV history. When I mention what year this was, you're going to think to yourself, I cannot believe it has been 19 years. But on this day in 1994, we were all glued to the TV sets watching that infamous O.J. Simpson chase in the white Ford Bronco SVU 19 years ago on this day. I was watching and thinking this cannot be real. I feel like I'm watching a dream. Can't be real, but it was real. And he was not convicted, obviously, of those murders. But we all know what happened to him. Um, anyway, let's go to some news in television. We will start with the 2013 Daytime Emmy Awards. They were handed out last night, and it was telecast live on cable news network HLN. The big winner was CBS, which won 13 Daytime Emmy Awards last night. If you include the Creative Arts Ceremony from last week, CBS won 21 Daytime Emmys. Second was PBS with 14. But one of the surprise winners last night, and the biggest surprise, was Days of Our Lives on NBC being named Outstanding Daytime Drama. This is only the second time in its long history that Days has won this award in that category, and the first time was in 1978, so it has been 35 years. Another surprise was CBS Sunday Morning being named Outstanding Morning Program over Good Morning America on ABC and the Today Show on NBC. I think we were all expecting GMA on ABC to win in that category. And Ricky Lake was named Outstanding Talk Show Host, but she does not have a job because 20 of television canceled her talk show. Now, let's talk about Ellen DeGeneres for a moment. The Ellen DeGeneres Show from Warner Brothers has won its seventh Emmy for Outstanding Talk Show in the entertainment category. I really personally think at this point Ellen should take her name off the ballot. Oprah did that. Oprah was winning every year. She stepped aside, let somebody else win. I think it is time for Ellen DeGeneres to do that. And for Outstanding Talk in the informative category, it was the Dr. Oz show from Sony Pictures Television. I have a complete listing of the winners for you. At our website at www.tvmediainsights.com, and there is a link in today's newsletter. Let's head over to CBS, if you happen to have watched Brooklyn DA, Tuesday at 10 o'clock, and I know few of you have, based on the ratings. CBS has downgraded Brooklyn DA. It is shifting it to Saturday at 9 o'clock, effective this weekend. Anytime a show is moved to Saturday, we all know it is the kiss of death this past Saturday, in fact, ABC returned canceled drama Zero Hour to burn off its remaining episodes. And I have the fast affiliate rating results for you for Friday and Saturday at our website and in today's newsletter. I am currently waiting for the overnights on Sunday. But, you know, as we head further into the summer TV season, there is not a lot to talk about. Over at Cable Network Stars, it has announced an upcoming scripted drama called Power. It will focus on a New York City nightclub owner who moonlights as a drug kingpin in New York City. When he decides to go straight and give up the drug element of his life, he realizes that is not so easy to do. And in the weekend box office, as expected, Man of Steel dominated. It averaged an estimated $113 million in the U.S. box office tally based on data from Rentrack. And finally, if you are a fan of Marilyn Monroe, I certainly am, there is a documentary on HBO airing tonight called Love Marilyn at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on the 17th day of June. I want to thank you all for joining me, and I'll be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day.